The second biome that we will be going over is the coniferous forest. The coniferous forest will also be known as the taiga and the boreal forest. It is important to know all three names mean the exact same biome. The trees that grow in the coniferous forest are called conifer trees. Conifer trees produce seeds in cones. These trees are also known as evergreen trees and they can have a waxy coating on their leaves. These trees stay green all year round. The temperature in, in a coniferous forest is going to be an average of 57 degrees Fahrenheit in the summer. Now this temperature is rather cold. In the winter season, it's going to be an average of 14 degrees Fahrenheit and it can get even colder than this. This biome only has two seasons, summer and winter. And the average rainfall in a coniferous forest is roughly 35 to 75 centimeters. So if we look on our map, we can see that coniferous forests are located only in the northern hemisphere. There are no coniferous forests in our southern hemisphere. Coniferous forests are located in Alaska and Canada. They can be found in the main area as well as coming down into Washington and Oregon. You can also find coniferous forests over here in Europe and some in northern Russia. Now coniferous forests will have many different animals located in this area depending on which continent they are found on. Coniferous forests will be located above our temperate zone where our temperate deciduous forests are located. So now we are going to look at the different plants or flora that can be found in the coniferous forest. There will definitely be different types of evergreen trees, such as fir trees, spruce trees, and pine trees located in this biome. We can also see some low-lying shrubs, as well as moss, and very little grass in this biome. We will be discussing later about why there is so little grass in this biome. So now we will be talking about the different animals that can be found here, or the fauna. So when we're discussing the animals that can be found in the coniferous forest, it's actually going to be very similar to the animals found in the temperate deciduous forest. Although in the coniferous forest, we will find much bigger mammals such as the moose and elk. We do have deer in this biome, just as we had deer in the temperate deciduous forest. We are also going to see many species of insects, as well as bears here. But we can see grizzly bears in this biome, which we could not see in the temperate deciduous forest. There are also going to be many species of birds and snakes. This snake might look familiar, as we have talked about the scarlet king snake, as well as the coral snake, which practice mimicry. So again, we are going to be talking about some environmental issues. So environmental issues are going to pop up over and over again for each of our biomes. In the coniferous forest, some trees can grow to be huge in size, such as the sequoia tree, which is depicted in this top left corner. The trees are so big, some people will actually cut roads through the center of them. Looking down at this picture on the left bottom corner, we can see that a tree has fallen over. Sometimes when trees fall over, it is more work to remove a tree, so they will end up cutting a tunnel through instead. There are even some roads that are built by clearing a whole pathway through some of the trees. Down below here, we can see a few people surrounding a tree. Now this tree is not even an adult tree yet, and look how many people it takes to stretch all the way around. Just as before, deforestation is a huge issue in a coniferous forest. So just as you had done before for your temperate deciduous forest, we are now going to be filling out a Frere model note. So again, the center circle is going to be where you title your biome. So again, this is going to be the taiga 
can also be called the boreal forest or the coniferous forest. Again, you're going to have to fill out your four main criteria. This will be your location or your proximity to the equator, your climate, your flora or plants, fauna or animals, and some interesting facts. Now take a few minutes to fill out your Frere model notes.